May the 12th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at uh, solar images from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. It gives us an Earth-facing perspective, and we've been watching these two sunspots now for a few days. They've been quiet since about the 6th. Really, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections. But this afternoon at uh, 1900 hours, we had what was called a filament release right under the second sunspot, the one closest to the center of the Earth to the left. You can see a curve of energy. That's a filament. It's hard to see, a little harder to see here, but now you see it erupt. And there, when a filament erupts, it causes an initial proton or light energy burst. Then as it collapses back to the surface of the sun, it causes a secondary flare called a hider flare. H-Y-D-E-R. You can check that out. The hider flare has produced a coronal mass ejection. This produced a photon or light energy burst. Notice it had started into effect by 1908-59 universal time. Now, we're looking at, again, SDO, different cameras, different filters, and this is a combination of three cameras. And you can see the amount of energy involved. Again, it, the green, darkest green area is a filament. It, it will rise above the surface, and it's hard to tell it when they're Earth-facing. And then it, it went in, will touch something like a filament from the uh, center of this that's opposite polarity. It will erupt. Again, once this eruption starts, this one started at about 1908, remember that time, and then it went on. It was kind of a long event. This is a still image. This is at 2139. So if you think about it, at 1908, this thing went on for a couple minutes, and that's called, it's a longer event. And when you have a coronal mass ejection from that or a photon burst, then they last longer. Now notice your timestamp from SOHO, a different satellite, also Earth-facing perspective. It doesn't go past 1537 yet. If Once that catches up with the SDO downloaded information, we may see a flare there, maybe a semi or a complete halo flare. Now it's already picked up the secondary hider flare. See this, guys? And that's going to come in around the 15th, it's going to last for a few hours. These trackers, we're going to look at both of them, have a plus or minus of seven hours as far as arrival time uh, as a window because it's hard to initially adjust the speed. Here you have the Earth, and then the top and bottom uh, blue and red dots are the stereo satellites that give us a side, kind of a side perspective of the sun, what's coming around towards us. But again, they both uh, this image and the next one we will look at is you see that hider flare causing this uh, coronal mass ejection around 15th 0400. It's very close to our planet at that time. More than likely has penetrated the shields. Now again, it's good to understand universal time oh, at 0400 hours when the start is 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, 1200 is 12 noon, 13 is 1, so on and so forth. 14 is 2. And as we look at the other Enlil model, the other one, yes, they're named after the ancient Anunnaki space gods, but um, we see the same timing in here. Here, you, this shows not only the Earth in the yellow dot right there, but notice on the 15th, it has not quite reached the planet. If you move this forward, you're gonna, both, both models are going to be very close in the time. We haven't seen one of these in a while. And during Grand Solar Maximum, we saw them much larger. And the pinker that image is in the center of that wave that just passed our planet, the stronger. But I've seen them go from pink to black. And many of you that watched our channel for a long time have also. So we've got one thing that happened. Now remember, a photon burst can reach our planet from the sun in 8.2 minutes speed of light. That at 1908... We saw the burst start to leave the surface of the sun. Now, it lasted for over a minute. 1908, notice the time of the quake, 6.1, down around Panama, guys. It's 1924. You see that? 12 minutes later, it's registering this earthquake, and the flare had not was not over yet. But if you think about that lasting a minute or two, there was a minute or two of photon burst impact. And guys, think all of you for supporting our channel 
and taking very good care of your family. The uh, Electra Pure water filter cell is still on, and they will be as long as supplies last. If they start getting low, we've seen the manufacturer go up somewhat. But we've sold so many, we've still got the $100 off. That's an incredible price for this and a 5,000-gallon filter. Guys, and this will give you a couple of uh, uh, gallons of water every hour or so, and that's what you're going to need if you're uh, in a bug-out situation. So this should be in your bug-out bag. The two tanks will kind of st uh, stack in together, guys, fit about half that size, and when there's no water in it, it's extremely light, just a few pounds. And this should be the first bug-out item you grab if you have to. This uh, and your food, of course, your family and all that will be ready to be prepared because the people that are doing this are preppers in the best sense of the word, not just in case of a national emergency as far as some type of political um, chaos, but uh, hurricanes and things like that. Again, first thing in your bug out bag, because the rule is you can make it three days without water. You can make it three weeks without food if you have water. You've heard me say that many times, and so many of you have listened to where it would be one of the best things you've ever done at a very great price. Guys, this can keep you and your family alive in a bad situation. Go there, click on it on our website, and you can go to the uh, actual information about the filter, all the things it filters out. It's rated number one. I, we've done the test. Other people have done the test. Nothing compares. Nothing is as low per gallon as this thing is at 1.8 cents. Once that 5,000 gallon filter is used, you can then your price of replacing the filter is usually if they'll have it on sale from 80 to 100 bucks. But then you're less than a penny a gallon because you already have the tank. Guys, thank you for the support. And again, it's something you'll never regret having. We've had our, was two years already and we use it every day. Heads up, be safe.